I understand also this is holiday time. A lot of people are still in the mood of holiday. And this is very bad in Malaysia. In Malaysia you have so many holidays that the moment you get up, you get some motivation, a holiday comes and kills it. Kills it. If you go to Hajj, I understand. If you go to a very important thing in life. But because Eid al-Adha, what is this? Eid al-Adha, almost two weeks ago. Alas. Some parents also go, go holidays. Do you know what Imam Shafi'i used to say? He said, I was shy to turn on the page in front of my Sheikh Imam Malik to make noise. Look at the adab of students in, in front of his Sheikh. He said, I was so nervous to turn the page because I would make noise while he's teaching. Today, many of you travel without even giving uh, like at least if a chef would, would be out of town. I'm, I don't need to know your private life, but there are things, sisters, discouraging, and brothers, please. Somebody traveling is okay. We, at least we make dua for you. And holidays, holidays, how many holidays you have in Malaysia? It's killing you. It's killing you, really. In Islam, there are, subhanAllah, in Islam, two holidays. Where, where, you, give, where you give up, you, know, you, you stop, you rest. Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha. In Jumu'ah, still we work. But Allah says, فَإِذَا قُضِيَتِ الصَّلَاةُ فَانْتَشِرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ When the salat is over, go and buy and sell. Which means it's a working day, even in Islam. But so many holidays until we are you know, the album's birthday, Muharram, Eid al-Adha, Eid al-Fitr, Hijrah, Muharram. Where are we going? Where are we going? And this hurts you in the long run economically. It hurts you a lot. Yes. But you're selfish. You say, oh, it's, what is it? it we, we rest. No. The Japan, the Germans, the Germans, when they were when they were defeated in World War Two, how did the Germans uh, recover? You didn't ask yourselves. In nine years only, in nine years after nine years of war, World War One, 1954, the economy of Germany surpassed the economy of Britain and France together. Nine years after being destroyed completely, 95 percent of Germany was destroyed when Hitler lost the war. There was not one single city built. Everything was destroyed. And most men were killed. So what happened? Women. Women and the, left, the few men that left, they did three things. Remember them. Number one, they did something women don't like. Multiple wives. Okay? That's something else. I'm not telling you to do that. Number two, eight hours paid for. They added two hours, 10 hours. You are paid for eight hours, but you work for 10 hours a day. Do you know two hours per citizen? Two hours per citizen, free for the country, for the nation, for the garaku. Is a lot. And no holidays until Germany became much better then. So they, they reproduced new generation and how working. So what was destroyed from Ger uh, Germany was the world of things and the world of humans. They lost lives and material, but they didn't lose ideas. Today, the Muslims, with all what we have, we have no ideas. The world of ideas is dead. The West puts in our minds Western ideas. Dubai, do you think Dubai was built by Muslims? In ma ma money of the Muslims. If they are Muslims, Allah knows. Because when you look at their behavior, but it was built by uh, Indian workforce and Western thinking. 
show me one city built really by 100% Muslim. Now, no. Because the world, when colonials were here, the British, the French, the Italians, they destroyed our world of ideas. Besides the genocide that they did against the Muslims, they also destroyed our ideas. For example, the Mongols, when they entered Baghdad, they destroyed the library. But the British and the Americans and the Russians, when they entered Germany, they, the ideas were already in their mind. Look at us when we travel. We take bags full of things. Even when we go to Mecca, we bring what? We bring what? We bring things. We buy shopping. The West, very little they shop. Yeah. They take ideas, especially Japanese. They take photos. Now Chinese are like that. And they go and copy and make. Very seldom you find a traveler, a Muslim traveler, traveling with nothing. Maybe an idea, a USB, something genius he copied, he's going to make in Kuala Lumpur or Algeria. We like just to take bags off. So we need to please understand that the world of idea is more important than any world. You may lose the world of material things, the world of things, material things. You may lose the world of lives. You lose many lives. But you reproduce. Japan, the same thing. Japan was nuked twice. And look now, third economy in the world. Because they're, the, the Americans couldn't destroy the mental <coughs> capacities of the Japanese. The work ethic still the same. Everything was the same. So they came up quickly. <coughs> Our Ummah cannot, simply because uh, we didn't pay attention to our values. Now, lately, some of your leaders are still thinking. We have been telling them this for years. They just listened 20 years ago. 20 years, you have a new generation, mashallah. Yeah. We were saying, put the values into kindergartens, put the values into schools, put the values. Now they realize Japan's, Japanese did that, German did that. So even if you lose the war, you don't lose your ideas. Okay, so that was a few things I wanted to share with you, my dear brethren.